Good afternoon. This is my book and this is where I put all of the play reviews that I wrote. And here are a few words about Waiting for Gatto. Waiting for Gatto is the first production of the 2014-2015 season at the Studio Theater at the Depot in the 55th year of the Old Town Playhouse. Beckett's Classic is truly a marvelous piece of theater. What I took away after seeing it was two simple things clued together. Timing in waiting, which we all have to do, and those I share it with you. Waiting for Gatto will inspire you to think and ponder and laugh and feel and be thankful for those who stand with you always. since I was at the experimental theater wing at uh, New York University and was first exposed to it. Um, there were a couple of productions that were being done around New York City and I've always wanted to, always wanted to do it. So I've just been waiting for the right time. And I especially liked Thomas's approach, um, which is, was much different than what most of them were. I must have made a note of it. But what Saturday? And is it Saturday? <laughs> or is it not rather Sunday? Or, or, or Monday? Or Friday? I hadn't been in a production in a while. Um, chance and circumstance had not allowed me to participate. And I like, if you're going to spend that amount of time on something, you want to do something classic. Um, Shakespeare's worth it, uh, with that time investment, Godot is a classic, it's one of the greats, and it's a challenge. I knew what that script was going to be like, I had previewed it, um, I had never gotten through a production of it without switching it off. I've never seen it on the stage, and I couldn't bear it when I was watching it on YouTube. So I thought, interesting challenge. First, from the standpoint of mentation, would I be able to remember any and all lines? And, and secondly, those who are cast in the show, would we be able to make it interesting? 
something it wasn't, even in the Beckett-directed version of it that I saw on YouTube. Donald, you can't even groan. Donald, since when? Have you not done tormenting me with your accursed time? It's abominable! When? When? One day, is that not enough for you? One day he went dumb. One day I went blind. One day we'll go deaf. One day we were born. One day we shall die. The same day, the same second. Is that not enough for you? Um, I had read the, the play uh, in college, I think, and uh, I just really fell for the absurdity of it. I don't think I necessarily got a lot of the, the references or whatever, but I just, the structure of it and the, the kind of energy, and it was just like nothing I had ever read before. And then when it came up on our schedule on the calendar, um, I thought that would be really, um, that would be a, a big undertaking, but it, it, uh, it would be really fun to be involved with it. And, um, and then I thought about the age and uh, then I got the play out, and just to see if it still resonated, and uh, I was sold. The same lot as usual? The same. I don't know. What do I think of it? All these years, but for me, where would you be? You'd be nothing more than a, a little heap of bones at the present minute. No doubt about it. Come on! Wipe away his tears. You'll feel less forsaken. Here, give it to me, I'll do it. Make haste! Before he stops. Your turn. seems like you're pulling stills from running footage. Is that right. what you did for the, the cast and crew? Oh, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that work out? It seems like it works out really well. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really the only way, a uh, realistic way, to be able to capture great moments because um, a, a, a moment is such a fleeting, it's just like, like minuscule. Mm -hmm. And for anybody with a still shot, camera to be able to be that quick you're it's, yeah. it, it's a virtual impossibility it's just total luck but when you're capturing a stream then you can go through and you can find those moments i mean they just jump out at you and you just go the, the, everything is right the eyes are right the the lighting is right and everybody like you can find a good sort of common denominator for everybody sure. in that sort of group. Definitely. Let, let's contradict each other. <laughs> Impossible. You think? We are in no danger of ever thinking anymore. Then what are we complaining about? Oh, thinking is not the worst. Perhaps not. But at least there's that. That what? Well, that's the idea. Let's ask each other questions. <laughs> Well, what do you mean, at least there's that? That much less misery. True. Well, if we gave thanks for our mercies... What is terrible is to have thought. But did that ever happen to us? Where are all these corpses from? The skeleton. You told me that. True. Must have thought a little. At the very beginning. <clears throat> Charnel House. A charnel house! You don't have to look. You can't help looking. True. Try as one may. I beg your pardon. Try as one may. We should <coughs> turn resolutely towards nature. We tried that. True. 
Well, it's not the worst, I know. What? To have thought. Obviously. But we could have done without it. Que voulez-vous? I beg your pardon. Que voulez-vous? Oh, yes. Que voulez-vous? Exactly. Well, that wasn't such a bad little canter, now was it? Yes. Certain. Ask him a question. That'd be a good thing. What I would risk. Mr. Louder. Mr. Leave him in peace. Can't you see he's trying to rest? Ask him. Moron? 